Dawn Altman and I'm a digital learning specialist here at Fort Worth ISD. I'm going to be showing you how to use the digital whiteboard when you're using Zoom. So for our learning objectives, you'll be able to start a Zoom meeting, share the whiteboard, use the tools for that whiteboard, and have some fun. So looking at our meetings, Whenever you click on meetings, you will see ones that are upcoming or ones that you've already had. You can select either way. Schedule that meeting, set up where you want it to go, when you want it to happen. Click on the name of the meeting to edit anything you have in there. And then when you're ready, you click on start. When you click on start, you have this toolbar come, about, come in front of you. Actually, it's kind of down at the bottom. Then it gives you the option to share. Mine currently says new share because I'm sharing my screen with you now so I can record. So in the share or new share, you would click that and then your next window will allow you to select what you would like to share. For us, it's going to be the whiteboard. Once you select that whiteboard, you then click on share. So when you do that, you then get this toolbar. Now this toolbar will be just the um, long rectangle and it will primarily be at the top of your screen. You have a select tool which allows you to select anything you have written and drag it wherever you might want it to go. You have a text tool. When you type in text as it is typed on the screen, you can actually change it to be bold, italics, a different color, and even change the font size. When you choose drawing, drawing allows you to freehand. So you could write those problems, you can draw a picture, you could say, you know, tell me about the scenery you're seeing, and they get to draw it. You can draw it. You have a spotlight which for that you have a spotlight, which then would have a red circle, very bright red circle at the end of it that then you could click around and show your students where you're talking about. You could also select an arrow or you could possibly select an arrow. The arrow then when you click will tell you who put that information there. I hope that makes sense. Next, you have an eraser tool, so you can click on anything that you've written and it will erase it. When you click on format, that's where this big box of things pop up. So the colors, the line width, the font, the style of bold, italic, or change your number. You have the undo and redo, which we're used to on other applications. And with that clear, you can either clear just your screen stuff that you've put on there, clear things that others have put on there, or just clear the whole thing. And then lastly, you have a save button. This save button will actually take every page, and I am saying every page, meaning there's more than one every page. Down here, we'll talk about that in the bottom right in just a moment. But when it does save it, it saves it as a PNG in a file on your computer. This will allow you to take those images and place them in um, a presentation, place them on a website, place them in Google Classroom, place them in It's Learning, wherever you might need them to be for students to be able to access. Now, as I stated, in the bottom right-hand corner, we could have more than one page. If you click the page with the little plus sign in the corner, and it will be down in the right-hand corner, you can have as many pages of notes or drawings, applications, anything you need in here from that whiteboard. And when you click on save, each page will be separate. You will have individual pages as PNGs. I want to thank you for spending time learning about the whiteboard in Zoom. If you have any questions, please reach out to your educational technology digital learning specialist. We're here to help you. Thanks and have a great day.